and number one is patience because uh, you know success is not three uh, two minutes no lose it takes time you know and then the advice that i give myself and i give to other entrepreneurs is that never hurry out of the factory when it is time to be in the factory stay in the factory stop getting worried about oh those that are, that have made it to the showroom already those that are already on the catwalk or on the billboards you know stay stay the process remain in the factory make sure that you are fully baked so that when it's time for you to be on the billboard or on the catwalk or in high profile magazines you're not going to be an embarrassment to yourself and your brand so don't be in a hurry to be anybody or to be anything or to achieve anything you know just be patient number two is persistence you know because um, things don't happen as we plan sometimes you, are, you set out to achieve something within a year and it doesn't happen within a year be persistent it will come eventually because the best things in life doesn't come to those who are hard working not necessarily hard working you can be hard working and then you don't get your results within the time frame you uh, you set out to achieve it but when you're persistent whether two years after whether four years after it will eventually happen and number three is consistency you know I was telling somebody recently that even if you are doing the wrong thing, even if you are doing something that doesn't make sense to people, when you are consistent with it, it begins to make sense to people. The greatest lesson, uh, maybe I should say greatest lessons because there are quite a number of them, uh, is number one, be very personable very because it's important i mean you're doing an e-commerce business and uh you don't have initiate incentives like uh freebies like sales like uh celebrating your customers on mother's day or giving them gifts on uh christmas day and things like that so i've learned all of those things and it has set me apart because my uh my brand has a human face so it's very very important for everyone who wants to make it far in life you can't you can't afford to be seen as a selfish brand you must be seen as a brand that one can relate with in customer relations i i try as much as possible to listen to my clients to even help them out with things you know i i'm also a bridal stylist so when they come to be confused they don't know what to pick and i even help in some cases i help them choose their styles i help them choose colors that matches their skin tone you know all of those things that help me you know scale up in my uh, e-commerce business because recommendations you know brings in more customers for me like oh are you confused about what kind of jewelry to wear? Are you confused about colors and everything? It's going to sort you out with all of those things.